Hi guys, welcome to DIY Time channel. My name is Victor and in this video we're gonna deal with the smoking brakes problem. So what happened was recently after driving this car for even a short distance, the front left brakes would start smoking and also the wheel and the brake rotor would start getting extremely hot. In general, this problem is usually caused by seized brake piston, seized brake caliper slides, or else it could be clogged or pinched brake fluid line. Let's go ahead and safely jack up the car and remove the front wheel to find out what's going on here. Next, we're going to remove the brake caliper to be able to inspect the brake cylinder and the brake caliper slides. On this particular 2005 Scion TC, the brake caliper is held in place by two 14mm bolts. After we removed the top bolt, we were able to pivot the caliper and slide it out of the bracket. As you can see here, the bottom slider pin looks and works really well, which is not the case with the top one. We couldn't move it and it was completely stuck. And just to give you an example how it's normally supposed to work, here are the slider pins on the other side of the car and as you can see, both of them are pretty well lubricated and they're moving freely inside of their guiding channels. We tried to break loose the stock slider pin after soaking it with a rust penetrating grease, but it didn't work. The slider pin just broke in half and part of it got stuck inside of the bracket. So now, since there's no way to get this thing out of there, we'll need to replace the brake caliper bracket and the broken slider pin. We'll need to remove two 17mm bolts in the back to be able to deattach the brake caliper bracket. Now the bracket should come right off. And here's also another look at the broken slider pin inside the bracket. Extreme heat from the seized brake caliper can also cause some damage to the brake pads and brake rotors. For example, when brake pads overheat, they can start cracking and crumbling, and the contact surface can become glazed. The brake rotors can get warped and wear out unevenly. If necessary, inspect and replace those parts as well. You can buy replacement parts at your local auto parts store, but it's usually the most expensive option. Instead, you can shop online and get much better deal. And if you're interested, check out the links in the description area below to see what the current prices for those parts are. I also like to buy some of the parts at my local junkyard to save even more money. For example, we were able to find this bracket with slider pins for just $5 and it was still in a good shape. We're gonna go ahead and lubricate these slider pins to avoid this problem in the future. And now we're basically gonna put everything back together. Also be sure to use a serviceable thread locker to prevent the bolts from loosening from vibration. Use a torque wrench and tighten the lug nuts in the star pattern to the factory torque specifications. And very important, after you're finished, make sure to test the brakes before you drive the car on the main roads. Alright, that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please subscribe to my channel to see more educational videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.